A zombie with good taste in music? That's my kind of zombie. Warm Bodies is from writer and director Jonathan Levine. He's the guy that did 50-50. I love 50-50, so I was really excited for this movie, and it did not disappoint at all. Really dug this one. This film's got everything that you could want in a movie. Zombies, romance, comedy. You can't go wrong there. This film is about a zombie named R, who has thoughts and feelings, and starts falling in love with a girl that he runs into while he's trying to get some food for the evening. He's a dead person, but when he meets her, something starts changing inside of him, and he might be turning into something a little bit more human. That's pretty much the plot to this movie. You have a romance between a zombie and a female. And it's, it's interesting. I have not read the novel for this film, and when I first heard the idea behind this film, I was like, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think that'll be any good. But then when I first saw the trailer, I thought, this could be pretty creative and different. And it's by the director of 5050, and I just adored 5050. I loved that movie. It was one of my favorite films of that year. And I mean, I, I was really excited going into this movie, and I really loved it. I loved every minute of this film. Uh, there's some problems, definitely some problems that I'll get to later, but for the most part, it's a very enjoyable zombie romance flick, and it's really smart, and I found it really, really enjoyable. Yeah, not a bad experience in the theater today with warm bodies. I think the director of this film handles comedy very well. He's an intelligent man, it's, it, you can see that through his writing, and it, his humor that he uses is a little bit more unconventional. It's not normal. The humor in his films is a little bit odd, and that's what really drives this one. There's some of that fish-out-of-water humor that you find in films like this, where, you know, he's a zombie trying to adjust to being around people. And then the film really takes advantage of its narrator. The, the main character, the zombie, narrates this film, and it's he's really funny, and there's a lot of great lines that of just what he's thinking, and it's very situational and really clever. I really dug the style of humor in this film. It was not what I expected, and, and there were lots of moments that I laughed out loud and it was it was a good theater experience. And then there were some really different concepts with the zombie aspect of this film that really helped reinforce the themes that the film's trying to portray. They talk about memories and dreams a lot in this film because the zombie character has pretty much forgotten what his life was like before he became a zombie. And I thought that was a really interesting aspect to his character. I thought that was a really unique concept in this film. Like the zombies want to be able to dream again and they can do that by eating somebody else's brains. I thought that was cool. When the zombie is eating a person's brains and picturing their memories in his head, it's in third person, which doesn't make any sense, so they kind of contradicted themselves there, but, I mean, it worked. I, I enjoyed the film enough to where those little inconsistencies didn't bother me. I highly recommend going into this film with an open mindset, because there's some zombieisms that kind of contradict themselves, uh, just in the realm of, like, certain zombies can talk sort of, and certain zombies can't talk at all, certain zombies can think for themselves. Some of that stuff is a kind of muffled and, and, and messy, but if you go into it just going, that's how it is, and you just accept it, then you're going to enjoy that. But if you don't, then you might kind of nitpick, and it, that might bother you. I, I liked the movie enough to where I didn't go in trying to pick apart all of that. It's like when you go into a time travel movie, and you try and pick apart the logic of time travel. Um, it's not a real thing but the film does kind of have some issues with that whole aspect. So know that going in. Just go in with an open mind is my recommendation. Aside from some of the messy logic of the film, which really isn't important, it was smart, it was funny, I thought it was incredibly original. I also really like the choice in music and how it's used throughout the film. It really helps the movie. It's an overall really fun movie, and if you go in with an open mind, I, I think you'll definitely enjoy this one. I also saw Stand Up Guys today, and I recommend Warm Bodies over that, um, that's for sure. So if you're going to go see something in theaters this weekend, Warm Bodies is a solid choice. I, I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one you can go see with your friends, and I definitely recommend Warm Bodies over everything else that's come out this past month, so that's a good thing. I have to rate this movie. I enjoyed pretty much everything about it, so I'm going to give it a B+. Anyways, that's my review over Warm Bodies. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and go check out all my other movie reviews. I also recently did a video of my entire movie collection, so you can check that out in the description below. And I did a Blu-ray update because I bought some other stuff this week, so you can go check those out as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.